Hi friends, hope you're all well and first of all I'd like to say thank you so much for taking the chance on me and my channel by clicking to watch this video. This is the very first video of the channel Be Kind To Yourself which I chose to set up as I am really passionate about promoting positive mental health um, and I have found a great improvement in my own mental health through uh, the practice of mindfulness and meditation along with um, a couple of other things and I'd really like to explore them all in this channel. So I'd like to begin with my first video with doing a um, an introduction to mindfulness so there will be a couple of short meditations which I hope you will join me on and hopefully um, you will love it as much as I do. Mindfulness is the process of being aware of the present moment and that includes factors both within and outside of your body and basically it includes anything that you want to be included um, and anything that isn't required we will learn and practice how to keep that out. So the first thing I'd like to do is for us to get rid of everything that isn't essential to us for this mindful practice. So usually I would do these sessions in a group of people and we'd sit in a circle and that would be metaphorical of the fact that we're closing um, ourselves off to the outside world, we're turning our backs on it and therefore leaving it outside of the circle and what's inside of the circle is only um, your mindful practice. But since we're each on our own, I'd like you to create a safe space and what I mean by this is to imagine you are sitting inside some kind of shape it can be a circle a square a hexagon whatever you envisage and you can pick the color the pattern whatever you want the space to be it can be grass with flowers anything but this is going to be your safe space that you will come back to each time you practice mindfulness and it can also be transferred it doesn't have to be where you're sitting right now it can be transferred to if you're sitting on a bus or a train or on your sofa wherever um, you can transport your safe space so once you've figured that out please sit on the floor and that's the best option or second best is some sort of solid surface and this is just to make sure that you have um, good posture and you're sitting in a way that's comfortable but um, quite quite well structured so make sure that your back is as upright as is naturally comfortable um, don't make yourself too rigid or, or kind of overstretch your back you should be able to sit in this position for a little while um, but don't slump over um, like that at all um, definitely will help you and make you feel more present if you have more of a presence about you. If you need to you can roll your shoulders back a few times and that might help you to find the right position where your shoulders should comfortably sit. If you're sitting with your legs crossed that's great um, or you can sit with your legs straight out whatever you do it's best to have the maximum um, interaction with the floor that you're sitting on and your hands and arms, if you can, rest them on your legs or another surface just to make sure that they have support as well. And I will remind you throughout to get back into the position because I had even just moved a little bit there, to get back into the position to make sure that you're at your optimum mindfulness position, which is something you'll definitely come to know. So now that we've got our position right, we are all sitting on the floor together or on the same level and the metaphorical meaning behind that is that we have got rid of all hierarchies mm. so there is no person that is better at mindfulness and no person that is worse at mindfulness we are all on a level playing field and there are no problems that we're trying to fix here there's no solutions there's no cracks to plaster there's no holes to fill you are you and you are here to be and whatever happens during these sessions you shouldn't judge yourself or anyone else who takes part in this 
you should just accept. So usually, as I said, we would be facing inwards and we would be closing off the outside world. But we're each in our safe space now and you can allow me into that safe space. And so you can consider that you're turning your back on the outside world within your safe space. And that means that we're closing off from all of the worries, the stresses, the to-do list, everything that you're thinking of beyond this safe space. And we're going to try and let that go. It's easier said than done, um, but it's definitely something that we will practice. And hopefully we um, will learn to try and put that aside just for these few moments that you deserve to just be. So now that we have removed everything that we don't need for this session, I invite you to close your eyes. And what you are left with is you and your breath. So take this moment to acknowledge the speed and the pattern of your breath please don't try to change it. It doesn't need to be altered in any way. We'll just accept it for the way that it is. It doesn't need to become slower and it doesn't need to speed up. You may find that it changes throughout this video. It may slow down but you can just acknowledge the change and accept it. If you do feel that thoughts and worries are entering your safe space, on each exhale, try to let them go. As we did at the beginning, we got rid of everything that wasn't necessary to us. If those thoughts try to pop in, Try and let them go. They're not serving you within this session. So the reason that we use our breath is because it is something that's constantly there with us. It doesn't matter the activity we're doing, how we're feeling, and although it does change, it's constantly there and it's something that we can come back to and monitor and be aware of as a mindfulness practice wherever we are but again that doesn't need to be something that is judged it can be a few seconds of mindfulness just to acknowledge the way that your breath feels within your chest so first I'd like to try to acknowledge the breath in a visual way so there are a few ways that I do this, um, but please feel free to visualize your own way. So a few things that I have is, the first is um, a tank of water. So as I'm breathing in, the water in the tank is slowly rising. And as I breathe out, the water empties. And this just allows you to have some kind of visualization because it is near impossible for me to say breathe and don't think. So have something to visualize and it will help to keep those thoughts and worries at bay. The other thing I think about sometimes is having a circle of lights and with the inhale the bulbs are turning on until we reach the top and as we exhale the bulbs start turning off so you can imagine whatever way is best for you it could be the tide coming in and out anything that works best for you and just visualize that breath and of course at the same time you will be breathing in and out to follow the visualization you've just created. So please continue with that for a few moments. 
and again you can do this with your eyes open or closed. If you do choose to have your eyes open, I suggest you to look at a distance of about two meters away and allow your gaze to soften so you're not focusing on, a, on anything in particular. But personally, I prefer to have my eyes closed when I meditate because it helps um, just that factor of sight just box that out completely. So during these meditations, there will be thoughts that come in. There will be worries. You may go off on a tangent and think about what you need to add to your shopping list. So please don't judge yourself. That doesn't mean that you failed at mindfulness. It doesn't mean that you're bad at it. It just means that your brain is doing what it has been programmed to do, which is to think. But the process of mindfulness is to be. So we will come back each time to the present, which at the moment is our breath, which I hope you are still focusing on as I'm talking. It doesn't matter if your mind wanders a thousand times or once. What matters is that each time you bring back the attention to what you were doing, the last part that you could remember and carry on. And please, each time, bring yourself back without judgment. So I hope after that you're starting to already feel a little bit more in tune with yourself, maybe a little bit calmer. Again, your choice if you'd like to keep your eyes open or not, but please make sure that you're keeping this good structure, spine as straight as is comfortable, give your arms and hands support, and make sure that you feel well grounded in the position that you're sitting. And breathe. So I know one of the things that I keep doing is talking about coming back to the centre and doing this with my hands and the reason I do that is because of another visualisation I have which is that there is a line right up the centre of my body and I consider that to be the breath or the centre and this is the point that I'm always trying to achieve I'm trying to get back to that centre line which means that I am being and I am not thinking so each time that my mind is wandering I'm bringing it back and it doesn't matter in which direction I'm going and where I'm thinking I slowly bring it back and as I said before it doesn't matter how many times your mind wanders what matters is how many times you bring it back another thing that I do sometimes is I imagine that there's some kind of comforting presence behind me um, so when my mind is wandering it guides me back to the centre and it allows me to come back and re restructure where my thought was at that time or where my breath was and carry on so that's another tip if you're struggling definitely the visualisations help so there's a, a few things there, so there's the breath and there's the wandering thoughts which inevitably will always happen. So we've done a few really short mindfulness um, practices there and I hope that they've given you a good introduction as to what the practice and the process is about. Definitely the whole thing is just about checking in with yourself. It's about shutting everything out and just being with yourself, which you deserve. You deserve a moment of calm. You deserve a moment to just be with yourself and to be kind to yourself. So I hope that's given you a good insight and introduction into my own mindful practice and how I go about um, being mindful. So I would like to do lots of different types of mindful episodes. So my next one um, will be a full body scan. So we'll look at each part of the body slowly and mindfully and really check in with yourself. So it will be a longer um, 
a longer session with less kind of chop, chops and changes um, for you to enjoy. However, I will also be peppering in a few other things that um, personally bring me um, joy and improve my mental health and that will be um, things to do with lifestyle and that will be celebrating the upcoming season of autumn. So I hope you'll join me for that and in future episodes for more mindfulness. Thank you again so much for joining me and again for taking the chance on me. Hope you enjoyed it and I really look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care of yourselves. Bye. Thank you again for visiting my channel. If you like what you saw then please give me a like to let me know and I would be eternally grateful if you consider subscribing and don't forget to click that notification bell so you can see where my next upload is. Thank you. Take care. Bye.